discrete My uh, mail girl showed up today and she had a package for me. Isn't that cool? Look at the chrome's all worn off. It's like brass, copper underneath, nickel, whatever it is. Um, the bracket fits like it belongs except for I had to cut the top half off else you can't fold the dash down. It's not a big deal. So over here I got my DeWalt. Cha-ching! It's gone. It fell somewhere. But I uh, wire brushed it to take the burr off. Dad's watching me on Skype again. <laughs> Say it again. Ah. Streaming my iPod. But uh, I'm going to make sure we don't drop this one. I'll put the bracket on right now. Here's the screws. The nuts. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to put this down and uh, make sure we don't drop it. I'll say it again. Don't drop it. I dropped my moon. I paid 20 bucks for it. It was a $100 speedometer. And I broke it. It's going to be almost impossible to get a good picture of this, but uh, I'll take some pictures and explain it. I'll try a video. This is all my lines that go to the LEDs. The LEDs are going to need a resistor on them. I have a 5 volt regulator. I have a momentary cherry switch. I have a little, there's a, red, a 12 volt red LED here, just lets me know it's getting power. The three lines in for the three LEDs, one's, you know, power, ground, and one is an activator that flips between modes. I have an extra ground wire here. Um, when the box is mounted, this goes on the frame of the dash. That's the power line, which will go to the ignition. And um, you just reach under the dash, hit the little button, and it'll change modes. Now, I put this on because an iPod is 5 volts. So while I'm driving around, I can plug in my iPod and stick it on the dash just because I was there. But um, looks good. Everything's packed in that uh, larger box. This will hang off the back of the dash, be a nut in the front and uh, put a power lead to it. Don't need anything there. Here's your ground. Here's your power. Those are the leads from the, um, rect uh, the voltage regulator. But these will all go to my dash, to my lights. Three wires, seven colors. I got a wire in the, uh, the uh, female USB to the voltage regulator next. But uh, it'll all fit in this box. It was fun playing with electronics. It's been a while. It's nothing crazy. I gotta go pick up 99 cents in uh, resistors. So the 5 volts is driving all of the LEDs. I cut it from 12 down to 5, and I think it's a 100 ohm resistor you need, which is nothing. 99 cents for 5 of them. But uh, the LEDs, I think, are $3 a piece, so I'm going to need a bunch. But um, I did mess with uh, the gauge. The back bracket would not fit. I wouldn't, it wouldn't allow me to fold the dash down. So I did slice it, and as you can see, it fits now. The top edge of it's been trimmed right here. And everything fits nice. My second diode isn't connected. I'm not going to leave that hanging there. But fold the dash up. Look at that nice old gauge. We're going to get our other ones. Uh, green lines, big, big bucks. That little gauge is worth 100 bucks. you got to be kidding me. These gauge people must be rich. But uh, I'm loving that old gauge. Isn't that neat? Oh, the key ain't on. It is on. Make the lights blink. Let's try hazards. Sweet. But um, I was messing with electronics and wiring the thing. I got my fuel gauge here. Uh, I've got to make a, a bracket to hold it in. But. Um, it's been pretty good. Just messing with little stuff. I, I didn't feel good this morning. It was kind of cold out, so I messed around in the house and uh, was fiddling with all the electronic stuff. It's just junk. Those stupid things. So there's one more. Uh, well, you know what I didn't think? Am I going to be able to put lights in this gauge? 
That's a good question. We might have to drill, uh, drill a little pinhole there. I think it's six, seven millimeter. And uh, put a nice bright LED in there, boy. Maybe a couple of them on a corner. One on the left, one on the right, in the back. Because that thing, you know, they didn't have plastic with rings and stuff to glow. This one kind of just floats in the hole, so there is a big wide open area. And it's got a chrome ring, but who knows how bright we're going to be able to get that thing. Chevrolet. This is the green line, now that you can see it. And it's a bottom pivoting. They have some that actually pivot from the middle. Like this one. That one pivots from the middle. I don't know if they're all different kinds or what, but um, it's like noonish, and I've been up all day, and I gotta go take a nap before work. Look at that cool design Hank made, huh? That is friggin' sweet. By Willie's mirror. There you are. Keep looking at yourself. Corvette flags. Corvette Impala. Brand new. Oh, come on, I want my friggin' exhaust. Gonna get cracking on that. Then I gotta make a jump up to the cherry bombs, and then I think I'm just gonna make the cherry bombs turn and exit up before the rear tire under a rocker or something. So you'll still see the exhaust and it'll kinda be in the general area where the noise is being made, so but it'll be baffled, because I'm sure the cops would love that. They have no sense of humor. Okay guys. I'm going in to mess with these videos and uh, you have a good night. AC Delco. Actually just AC. Miles per hour.